have an unboxing for us today. It's coming to me from South Carolina, and this is what I'm excited about. I'll tell you why in just a minute. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community posts on your YouTube homepage. That's where I post deals and discount codes and sales related to these beautiful things we love and rare finds. This one isn't particularly rare, but it's interesting. I, I really like the design of this bag. How do I get into the box? We need to figure that out first. And there's a new version of it that I want to tell you about too. I'm excited. I'm, I'm thinking of also getting the new version. I don't know yet, but I think this is going to be a cool addition to my collection. I'm looking forward to it. This note, I got this off Poshmark, I think. This note says, thank you for your purchase, or maybe it was Etsy. I don't remember. I hope you enjoy this quality leather coach bag. Mm. Sincerely, and it has her name. Let's get in. She has it wrapped very nicely in the plastic to keep it. <sighs> well, I'm a little upset. Somehow the camera stopped filming right in the middle of unboxing that bag. So let me just reveal it to you. And I have added stuffing to it because it's a pretty shapeless bag. It's very soft and squishy. It needed stuffing so you could properly see the shape of it. It is the Vintage Coach Swinger bag. This one is in black. Let me give you a little spin of it here. And I just think it's a super cute, simple bag. Very like simple shape, understated. And I just filmed like 10 minutes on this video not realizing that it wasn't filming. So let me try to remember what I said and go through that again. A couple good things about the bag. I like the size of it. I measured it a minute ago. It's 12 inches across the top at the widest point. It's about six and a half tall and it's about three inches deep. I love the name of it, the Swinger. Very cute, you can see why they call it that. I love that it is so understated and simple, but that you could dress it up because the strap is removable. You can add other straps that are more decorative or that are different lengths. You can also add bag charms to the D-rings there. You could even add charms to the little loop on the zipper pull. A couple things about the bag that aren't so good, and it's just about this particular bag, is that the condition it's in, there are a couple of flaws that were not disclosed in the listing. Now I only paid with tax and shipping and everything $53 for this bag. Ultimately I'm okay with that because not a lot of money and this can be kind of a project bag for me to try a few things. And I have purchased a couple of under $50 vintage coach bags to play with, you know, so that if I end up ruining one by accident, trying to restore it or doing something to it that I'm not out a lot of money at least. So this one definitely needs to be cleaned and it needs to be conditioned. And I purchased this coach set of a leather cleaner and moisturizer and it has a little cloth at the top. This was $25 directly from the coach website. I think you can also get it from the Dillard's website. I think I remember seeing it there. There are a couple things on this bag that are a little bit damaged though that can't be fixed with just cleaning the bag and conditioning it. One of those is like you see that loose string right there. So there are a few frayed threads on this bag that weren't disclosed. And then the bigger issue, you can see on the zipper pull there, there's a little fray too. Or the zipper pulls, I'm not sure how well you can see that. I think you can. They're stitched around the edges. This one, however, much of the stitching has come undone and it's just not attached at all right there. That's why there's that loose thread. I don't know that I could really go through and restitch that, but what I could do is get some leather glue and put that in there and just glue it back together so it would stay in place like it's supposed to be. And that'd be okay with me. Of course, I also need to clean up the zipper. It's tarnished. Brasso will take care of that. One thing I'm noticing about the structure or the design of the zipper that I think is kind of cool is the lip that's around it is more narrow on the ends and then it's wider here. You see how there's this leather lip here. And I like that. It's just a nice part of the design. 
I haven't seen a zipper like that. These zippers are amazing. They're like butter. They're very, very smooth. Let me get all the stuffing out that I have in here so I can show you the interior. One thing I'm noticing, and you're not gonna be able to see this, but you can see that there's a seam at the bottom of the bag. When I look through from the inside and I hold it up to my lights, I can see light coming through those stitches. Probably shouldn't be happening. Does that mean the threads are a little loose there or it's been stressed over time? I don't know. Maybe it's totally normal. The inside of the bag, of course it's the unlined suede on the other side. It's just the other side of the exterior leather, you can see. So it definitely needs to be cleaned. It's got some lint and stuff in there. And then it has this pocket. Pocket comes out. I mean, it doesn't come out, but it, it's not attached on the inside where you can pull it out like this. You can't completely take it out. But the pocket looks like that. It's just a slip pocket. And it has the Creed, which is lightly imprinted. It's difficult to see. It says it's made in the United States and the number is 0470. 006. And that number doesn't tell us anything except that it was made before 1994. That number is just a serial number that's unique to this bag. It doesn't tell you when or where the bag was made. The reason that I became interested in this bag and found the vintage one is because there's a new model. You know, Coach has this whole series called the Coach Originals where they have taken, and I'll link those below in the description box so you can check them out, but they've taken vintage bags or vintage designs they've redesigned them, revamped them, updated them, and they've re-released them. So there is a new Coach Swinger that I'm actually thinking about getting, and it's on sale. I need to go look at it in person again because it comes in two different sizes, as does this one, by the way. This is the large size and there's a smaller one. I said this was 12 inches across. I think the smaller one is nine inches across. And I wanna see how I like this. If I do, then I may get this in one of the brown shades too. But the new version of the Swinger also comes in two sizes. There's a 20 centimeter and I think one that's larger. And they're really pretty, but they're a lot stiffer than these. They, like, this is just smushy. You can flatten it and, you know, those you cannot do that with. They are much stiffer. And they have a similar shape in that they have, if you look at the ends of them here, they have this rounded top, but then the the bottom, I don't know, let me just put a picture up and you can see what I'm talking about because I don't think describing it with words will really do justice to what I'm trying to say, but you can see here. And the larger of those two sizes has a shorter shoulder strap in addition to a crossbody strap. The 20 centimeter one only has the short strap from what I understand. There's also a nylon version. The rest of them are leather. I think there are some that may be in a jacquard too with the signature CC print that are newer bags. And then they also have some in the quilted puffer. I really like this 20 centimeter sort of lime green one. I don't think it's something I'd ever wear more than once or twice, so I don't think it's smart for me to get it, but I think it's cute. So overall, I'm a little bit disappointed that the quality isn't quite what I thought it was going to be, or just that the, not the quality, but the condition um, isn't quite as good as I thought it would be, but I feel pretty confident that I can get this cleaned up and it'll be gorgeous and spectacular and I'll be very happy with it. I'm also curious about getting one of the new swingers, but I'm not sure. I just feel like I wouldn't really wear it that often and then knowing that it's more stiff, I feel like that might bother me. I really like the squishy leather, but I don't know. I'm going to give it some more thought and we'll see. If I get one, you'll be the first to know. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope to see you back here next time. I hope you and your loved ones are doing well and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.